This is a two minute review of the Fuji XC50 to 230 millimeter lens with that review starting now. So for the price, this lens is by far the longest reaching zoom lens you can buy in the Fuji camera ecosystem. I'm just gonna start showing you five JPEG photos taken right out of the camera at each of the focal lengths that are marked at the lens. Different people have different standards, so I like to let the unedited photos speak for themselves. Now, with its wide telephoto range, this lens can be a versatile portrait lens for well-lit environments or for just capturing scenery, scenery from a distance. At anything above, you know, about 100 millimeters, you'll easily get good background separation, bokeh, you know, for portraits. However, due to the higher aperture, the downside is that this lens does not let in a lot of light compared to more expensive Fuji lenses. So even with the optical image stabilization for using slower shutter speeds, I would not recommend this for low light photography. So next, build quality. If you are using you know, you're used to using higher end Fuji lenses with metal mounts and nice aperture rings. This lens will feel a little cheap by comparison. It has a plastic mount and it doesn't have an aperture ring, but the upside of having a smaller aperture and a plastic mount and no aperture ring is that this lens is very lightweight. I barely even notice a difference when I add this lens to my camera bag. With all that in mind, who do I think this lens is best suited for? Travelers and hikers. This lens, it will not weigh you down. It can work for portraits and it's good for capturing scenery at both close and far away distances. But if you want a more durable lens for low light portraits, sports, or wildlife, this lens, it's probably not the best investment for you. I hope you got something out of this review. Consider subscribing if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you guys next time.